Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academia. In this video, we are going to discuss battery SOC estimation using Coulomb counting method. This state of charge estimation is very important concept in batteries. It will be applicable for all type of batteries, maybe mobile phone batteries, laptop batteries, electric vehicle batteries. Because this SOC estimation which will tell you how much amount of battery capacity is left. So there are different methods of SOC estimation, voltage translation method, Coulomb counting method, Kalman filter method. So out of this one, out of these three, the Coulomb counting method is very common and a popular one normally used in most of the battery applications. Let me take an example. I'm going to estimate the state of charge for the given application. I'm considering a battery of 12 volt with 500 ampere hour capacity and initial state of charge is 100 percentage. A 12 volt battery capacity of 500 ampere hour with the initial state of charge is 100 percentage. That battery is connected with the DC machine. So this machine will act as a load and these are the parameters of the machine. So now what I'm going to find, I'm going to calculate what is the state of charge of battery after 3 hours. It's very important. So how to calculate? This is the formula to find out the state of charge of battery using Coulomb counting method. Actually it is counting the number of charges. So here SOC is nothing but it is a current state of battery. That means I want the state of battery, state of charge of battery after 3 hours. What about SOC T minus 1? T minus 1 is nothing but it is an initial state of charge. Initial state of charge is 100 percentage. Where this I is nothing but it is a charging or discharging current. If you are calculating SOC when the battery is getting charged, then you have to use positive I. So whenever if you use, if you refer that current is positive, that means that battery is charging. If it is negative, that means that the battery is discharging. So now I am going to calculate the state of charge after 3 hours. That means while the battery is discharging, what will be the SOC after 3 hours? So I suppose to use minus I. This is very important which is not given in the equation, it is understandable. And what about T? T is nothing but it is a time. I am going to calculate the SOC after 3 hours. The last one will be the C bat that is nothing but it is a battery capacity. It is given it is a 500 ampere. Now I will straight away move on to the MATLAB. Let me take a battery. So whatever the battery, it's a lithium ion battery. So lithium ion and I have to feed the values, whatever the nominal voltage of battery I'm using is, it's a 12 volt battery. It's already given. 12 volt battery, rated capacity of battery is 500 ampere hour and initial state of charge is 100 percentage. This is actually given in the equation. 12 volt, 500 ampere hour, SOC is 100 percentage. Here it is. Now you can straight away connect this battery with the load. The load is nothing but it is a DC machine. So whatever the Specification of DC machine is 5 HP, 240 volts, 1750 RPM and field winding excitation is 300 voltage. This is the battery, this is the machine I am going to select. Select the first one, actually it is a first model. Make sure that the mechanical input is formed. Click apply. Okay. So here you can straight away connect this battery with the load. 
so positive is connected with the armature positive and negative is connected with the armature right here one thing you can straight away connect the battery's terminal for winding also see there are two ways you can connect winding either you can use a separate dc voltage source for winding okay field winding or you can utilize the battery's output voltage as a field winding both are acceptable okay so now what i'm doing is actually i want to measure the current so i'm disconnecting this line let me take some current sensor it's, i don't want any current sensor i need a current measurement why i'm measuring current because in my equation there is a term called i i supposed to calculate what is i so the battery is straight away connected with the current current measurement then you can take it with the armature positive one way you can use a separate dc voltage source for winding or you can use battery voltage for winding also. so now i am using battery output for winding excitation so positive of field winding will be connected with the positive of armature similarly negative of field winding will be connected with the negative of armature so for instead what you can do is you can take a separate dc voltage source okay so let it be it's a dc voltage source make sure that the dc voltage source is 300 volts because if you double click it whatever the field winding it is showing it requires 300 voltage okay so simply you can connect it like this positive to field and negative to field so this is one way there is nothing wrong but i'm not using a separated dc voltage source because i'm considering this is an electric vehicle i'm going to use my battery as a source voltage so I'm, instead of this dc voltage source i'm straight away connecting with the battery Now I'm going to feed some torque value. Let me take the torque is a constant that was a positive torque because I want my DC machine to be working motoring mode. So if your torque is positive, then the machine will work in motoring mode. If the torque is negative, the same machine will work in generating mode. So I'm considering the torque value is it beats 20. You can take any value because this value is not given in the question. Now I am going to measure the state of charge of battery. Let me take a bus selector. So from this bus selector what I want this state of charge, current and voltage. If you want to see the SOC after three hours, you can use some display. This is for our convenient. So how actually the SOC is reduced with respect to given time. So now the, the battery is connected with the load. Now only I am going to implement the equation this equation so here whatever the current I am measuring that should be represented in a reverse because I here I am what I am uh, measuring the SOC when the battery is getting discharged 
okay so let me take a, a simple matlab function okay so yeah, see i'm i'm using matlab function you need not to use the matlab function you can simply reverse the value that is more enough so just double click it you can see the function y is equal to y is y is nothing but it is a function of u y is output u is actually input just place this as negative nothing and what i am doing is i am simply reversing the current if you are asking whether it we need to use a matlab function no it is not necessary you simply you can multiply with minus 1 it will work okay so the, the measured current will act as a input for this matlab function so whatever the measured current for an example let it be it's a 5 amps so what will be the output of matlab function this will give you minus 5 amps i'm simply reversing so now as per the equation i divided by c bat what is c bat c bat is nothing but it is a capacity of battery that is nothing but it's a 500 ampere hour let me take a divide block it's a battery capacity and the value of battery capacity is 500 let's stand now after that i'm converting into seconds 1 by c that is done i'm just converting into the seconds can take a gain block make sure that the gain value is 1 divided by 3600 i'm simply converting it into seconds it's done and then i have to take the integration so this portion integration of this i divided by c bat take a integrator integration of that current so once the integration is done you can add it with the initial stage okay so this must be this portion the integration portion must be converted into percentage because here this state of charge initial state of charge is already in percentage this is also actually percentage so we have to convert this portion into percentage we take a conversion factor 1000 sorry 100 so it's simply multiply this is for percentage conversion yeah after that i have to add the initial state of charge so initial state of charge is also 100 can add it take a block this will give you the state of charge after 3 hours take a display i'm 
I'm just rearranging. Now it's ready. So you need to take a power guide. Power guide is mandatory. And make sure that I want the state of charge after three hours. So I have to change the start time accordingly. That is 3600 into 3 that means after 3 years then only this system will work fine let me check once again whether all my inputs are correct at the same time if you want to measure the distribution parameter you can take the output take a bus selector connect it here Yes. So make sure that the start time is three hours. Now you see the output. I'm just executing now. Yeah, if you look at this, so initially it was 0 percentage after 3 years. Okay, after 3 years, whatever the state of charge of battery is coming around 44 percentage. Because why I am selecting it is after 3 years? Because this is the stop time I am choosing 3600 multiplied with 3. Okay, so this is the way you can estimate the state of charge of battery using Coulomb counting method. I hope this video will give you some clear idea about what is SOC estimation, so what is required and how to do the same thing with Coulomb counting method. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries, kindly drop a mail to this mail ID. Thank you.